if the payments are made at the beginning of each interval of the time one is at the end of the year another one is at the beginning of the year then such an annuities are called annuity immediate and the annuity due perpetuity means if the annuity payments are made for the infinite number of periods then it is called as a perpetuity the future value of annuity due is determined using the following law the future value f is equal to a into 1 plus r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r into 1 plus r Hello dear students welcome to this session of basic mathematics class I am Mr Niranjan faculty department of mathematics vidyashram pu college the temple of excellence today in this session i am going to discuss regarding very important chapter that is chapter number 9 annuities so this is very very important chapter annuity so in this session you will get one five mark question one three mark question and one one mark question let us know regarding uh, the definition of an annuity what is an annuity and what are the types of annuity so an annuity is nothing but a fixed sum of money a fixed sum of money paid at regular interval of times under certain conditions so if a fixed sum of money paid under certain conditions at regular interval of time is called as the annuity what is this regular interval of time so the interval of time may be half year or quarterly year or for a month see the intervals may be either one year or half year or quarter year or month and so on like this so the annuity is nothing but an annuity is a fixed sum of money paid at regular interval of time under certain conditions the intervals may be either one year or half year or one fourth year or month and so on so there are two types of annuities there are mainly two kinds of annuity based on the payment in interval of time there are two types there are two kinds of annuity which are based on the time payment in the interval of time the first one is annuity immediate and the second one is called as the annuity due now annuity immediate and annuity due are the two types of annuities now let me draw regarding what is annuity immediate so annuity immediate means if the payments are made at the end of each interval of time period so if the payments if the payments are made at the end of each interval of time then the annuity is called as the annuity immediate annuity immediate means if the sum if the payments are made at the end of each interval of the time so whatever the amount you are going to get at the end of each interval of time is called as the annuity immediate so what is annuity due means annuity due means if the payments are made at the beginning of each interval of the time if the payments are made at the beginning of each interval of time the annuity is called as annuity due so if the annuity if the payments are made at the beginning of each year beginning of each interval of time then the annuity is called as the annuity due if nothing is mentioned then the annuity is considered as the annuity immediate annuity immediate so there are two types of annuities the first one is annuity immediate what is annuity immediate means if the payments are made at the end of each interval of time if the payments are made at the end of each interval of time then such an annuity is called as an annuity immediate if the payments are made at the beginning of each interval of the time one is at the end of the year another one is at the beginning of the year then such an annuities are called annuity immediate and the annuity due if nothing is mentioned then it is considered as the annuity immediate immediate annuity so these are very two important so in this chapter we are going to concentrate the problems based on annuity immediate and the annuity due so you will expect one five marks question from either this concept or annuity due or annuity immediate now move on to the next one deferred annuity so what is deferred annuity deferred annuity means if annuity which payable after a lapse of number of time of intervals then it is called as the deferred annuity so deferred if it is lost annuity which is payable after a lapse of number of times of intervals then it is called as the deferred annuity now perpetuity so what is this perpetuity means if the annuity payable are made for an infinite period then it is called a perpetuity this is very important concept you may expect uh, one mark the definition for this defined perpetuity for one mark 
and either you may expect one question from this perpetuity. So, perpetuity means if the annuity payments are made for the infinite number of periods, then it is called as the perpetuity. Now, based on this, let us move on to the first one. What is the first one? The future annuity. What are the formulas we are going to use to calculate the annuities? So, different formulas are used to calculate the annuities depending upon the terms and conditions. Now, future value of the annuity, that is future value of annuity immediate, annuity immediate, F is the future value. The future value of annuity immediate, F, future value F is determined using the formula. What is the formula? A into 1 plus R to the power of N minus 1 divided by R. So, A into 1 plus R to the power of N minus 1 divided by R. The present value of the annuity immediate, the present value is given by P is equal to A into same formula 1 plus R to the power of N minus 1 divided by R into 1 plus R to the power of N. And the future value of annuity due is determined using the formula. The future value F is equal to A into 1 plus R to the power of N minus 1 divided by R into 1 plus R. Similarly, the present value present value, present value of annuity due P is determined by same formula A into 1 plus R to the power of N minus 1 divided by R into 1 plus R to the power of N into 1 plus R. And the present value deferred annuity is immediate is given by P is equal to A into 1 plus R to the power of N minus 1 divided by R into 1 plus R to the power of N plus D. And the pres present value of perpetuity is de defined by P infinity is equal to A divided by R. Now, what is A? A is nothing but the annuity. What is R? R is the rate of interest in decimal. N is nothing but the time period. N is the time period. So, these are the formulas which are used to find the problems based on the given condition. Now, straight away come to the one more question. Let me take one more question. Find the present value of perpetuity of rupees 3000 to be received forever at 4 percent per annum. This is very simple one more question. So, what is the given here? A is given. Amo, yes, that is 3000 and the rate of interest R is equal to 4 percent means R can be written as 4 divided by 100 that is equal to 0 0.04. You can write this as R R. You can also write it as I is equal to 0 0.04. Now, what is the formula? P infinity is equal to A divided by I R A divided by R. That is it. What is this equal to 3000 divided by 0 0.04. That is it. So, this is equal to 21. 21428.5. That is it. So, therefore, the present value is what is present value is equal to 21428 for 3000 at the rate of 4 percent per annum. That is it. Listen, P infinity is equal to A by I or A by R. A is 3000 divided by I or R is equal to 0 0.04. That is equal to 21428.5 is the present value for the amount 3000 rupees that is it. Okay. Now, move on to the next problem. What is the next problem here? A scholarship of rupees 2000 every year has to be instituted. How much should be invested today if the interest rate is 8 percent per annum? So, a scholarship, a scholarship of rupees 2000 every year has to be instituted. How much should be invested today? if the interest rate is 8 percent per annum. So, if at the rate of 8 percent per annum, you will get 2000 rupees, then what is the amount you are going to invest? So, that is the problem here. Now, this is also same formula P infinity is equal to A divided by R or A divided by I. So, what is A? A is nothing but, so A is equal to 2000 and I is equal to I or R is equal to 8 percent that is nothing but 8 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.08. So, this is nothing but what is this A? A is 2000 divided by 0 0.08. Simplify this that is it right. If you divide 2000 by 0 0.08 then you are going to get it as 25000. So, so rupees 25000 has to be invested has to be instituted. So, to get rupees 2000 as an interest for every year at the rate of 8 percent per annum. 
Now, this is, these are all one one mark simple question. Now, move on to the next problem. A person endows a bed in a hospital at the cost of rupees 7000 per annum. If the interest rate is 14% per annum, how much should he provide in perpetuity? Now, what is given here? What is the amount? Amount is equal to 7000 and I is equal to 14% that is in terms of decimal 14 divided by 100 is 0 0.14. Now, same P infinity is equal to A divided by I that is nothing but 7000 divided by 0 0.14. 7000 divided by 0 0.14 calculated that is it. So, 7000 divided by 0 0.14 is nothing but 50,000. So, 50,000 is the required answer. So, these are all one one more questions very simple problem. What is given? A is given 7000, I is 0 0.14 then P infinity is equal to A by I that is 7000 divided by 0 0.14. Therefore, the required perpetuity is 50,000. Now, move on to the next problem. Now, let us take 5 mark per question. Now, straight away come to the annuities. Now, a company needs rupees 150,000. So, a company needs rupees 150,000 at the end of 10 years from now. It would like to set aside an equal amount each year from its profit. If the present market rate is 15 percent, how much should be the annual amount invested? This is an important type problem. A company needs 150,000 at the end of 10 years from now. It would like to set aside an equal amount each year from its profit. If the present market rate is 15 percent rate of interest, how much should be the annual amount to be invested? Now, here, what is given? F is equal to 1,50,000. F is equal to 1. F or N. N is equal to 10 years. And now, at an equal rate of interest is 15 percent. 15 percent, that is nothing but 15 divided by 100 is 0 0.15. Here, nothing is mentioned regarding the type of annuity. Therefore, that annuity here is immediate annuity, right? What is the formula for the F, F is equal to A into 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1 divided by I. Now, simplify this and get the value of A here. A is the question mark. Now, what is F given? 1,50,000 is equal to A into 1 plus what is I? I is equal to 0 0.15 to the power of N. N is equal to 10 minus 1 divided by i is 0 0.15 that is it a into a we do not know 1,50,000 is equal to a into 1 plus 1 0 0.15 to the power of 10 minus 1 divided by this. Now, I will go to the next page that is 1,50,000 is equal to a into 1 plus 0 0.15 is 1.15 whole to the power of 10 minus 1 divided by 0 0.15. Now, that is equal to 1,50,000 into 0 0.15 is equal to A into 1.15 if you multiply 10 times and subtract with 1. So, if you multiply 1.15 10 times, we will get 4.045, 4.045 minus 1. So, this is 1,50,000 into 0 0.15 is equal to A into 4.045 minus 1 is 3.045. So, therefore, A is equal to 1,50,000 divided by into 0 0.15 divided by 3.045. So, this is equal to 22,500 divided by 3.045. So, this is equal to 7000, 7389.16 that is it, this is the required answer. So, therefore, the annual amount to be invested is, therefore, the annual amount, annual amount to be invested, annual amount to be invested is rupees 7389.16 that is it, this is the answer. Hope you followed. Very simple for 5 marks. Now, move on to the next problem. 
find the future value here given future value of annuity of rupees 5000 at 12 percent per annum for five years this is also a very important problem and simple problem indeed what is given find the future value of annuity of rupees amount is given a is equal to 5000 and at the rate of interest r is equal to 12 percent so therefore i is equal to 12 divided by 100 that is nothing but 0 0.12 and the time period n is equal to 6 years. What is required to find the future value of the annuity? That is it. Okay. Now, what is the formula for future value of the annuity? Therefore, f is equal to a into same formula 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 divided by i. That is it. Okay. Now, very simple, simplify this. Now, substitute here. What is f? Therefore, f is equal to a. a is 5000, 5000 into 1 plus what is i? i is equal to 0 0.12 to the power of n. n is equal to how many years? 6 years minus 1 divided by i is equal to 0 0.12. Now, let me go to the next page. F, yes, sorry, I will write here only. So, therefore, this is equal to 5000 into 1 plus 0 0.12 is 1.12 whole to the power of 6 minus 1 divided by 0 0.12. This can also be written as 5000 into, so if you multiply 1.12 6 times, you are going to get it as 1.97, 1.9738 minus 1 divided by 0 0.12. So, what is this equal to? If you simplify this, you are going to get this as 5000, 5000 into 1 minus 1.9738 minus 1 is 0 0.0.9738 0 whole divided by 0 0.12. What is this equal to? If you simplify this, you are going to get the answer as 40,575.9. So, the required answer is 40,579.5 is the required answer. That is it. So, just, of, just substituting the values in formula, the substitution of values in the formula is very important. So, by taking the calculator, you can easily simplify. The thing is, this is very important. A, F is equal to A into 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1 divided by I. That is it. Now, move on to the next problem. Sukanya made an LIC policy of 12 years. So, Sukanya made LIC life insurance corporation policy of 12 years. If the annual, annual premium is rupees 2000, how much will she get when the policy matures after 12 years if the interest rate is 13 percent? So, Sukanya is taking an insurance policy for 12 years. If the annual premium per year she is going to pay 2000, after 12 years at the rate of 13 percent per annum, what is the maturity amount she is going to get? Now, this is an example for future value. So, F is to be determined. F is question. Mark. What is A? So, amount is 2000. And how many years? N is equal to 12 years. So, here future value is to be determined. Amount is 2000. Number of years is 12 years. And the rate of interest is equal to 13 percent. That is nothing but I is equal to in terms of decimal 0 0.13. Now, what is required to find is the future value. Now, what is the formula? Same formula as that of the previous problem. F is equal to A into 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 divided by i. That is it. So, substitute here. What is A? A is 2000 into 1 plus i is, what is i? 0 0.13 to the power of n. n is equal to 12 minus 1 divided by i is 0 0.13. That is it. So, that is F is equal to 2000 into 1 plus 0 0.13 is nothing but 1.13 to the power of 12 minus 1 divided by 0 0.13. Now, this is equal to. So, if you multiply 1.13 12 times, you are going to get the answer as 4.3345. Just multiply 1.13 into 1 12 times. So, 2000 into 4.3345 minus 1 divided by 0 0.13. This is 
this is 2000 into 4 minus 1 is 3.3345 divided by 0 0.13. Simplify that, that is it. Now, if you multiply this, what you are going to get? 6669 divided by 0 0.13, 6669 divided by 0 0.13. Now, if you divide by 0 0.13, what is the answer you are going to get? So, you are going to get 51,300, that is it. So, therefore, so Sukanya, she will get an amount of 51,300 as the maturity amount after, after how many years? 12 years for 13 percent rate of interest, that is it. Now, move on to the next problem. A father wants to send his child for higher studies after 15 years. So, n is given 15 years. He expects the cost of higher studies to be 1 lakh. How much should he save annually to have 1 lakh after 15 years if the interest rate is 12 percent per annum? So, here amount is to be determined. So, amount is the question mark and future value f is given. What is f? f is equal to 1 lakh, right. How much should he has to save annually to have 1 lakh after 15 years? n is equal to 15 at the rate of interest r is equal to 12 percent that is i is equal to 12 divided by 100 is 0 0.12 percent. That is it, ok. Now, we can use the formula like this also, A is equal to F into R divided by 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1, R or I this is. So, R this can also be written as A is equal to F into I divided by 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1, right, if it is small r. Now, substitute here, what is A? A is equal to F, A is equal to F is 1 lakh into R rate of interest I is equal to 0 0.12 divided by 1 plus I is 0 0.12 to the power of N. What is N is 15 minus 1. So, this is 1 lakh into 0 0.12 divided by 1.12 to the power of 15 minus 1. Now, just simplify this. So, if you simplify the numerator 1 lakh into 0 0.12 is 12,000, 12,000 divided by simplify 1.12 15 times and subtract by minus 1. So, if you subtract, simplify and subtract you will get 4.4735, 4.4735 and divide this. So, if you divide you will get 2682.64, that is it approximately. So, therefore, the amount is Therefore, the amount A is equal to 2682.64, that is it. Now, move on to the next problem. Now, Preetha wants to buy a house after 5 years. So, Preetha wants to buy a house after 5 years. When it is expected, the expected cost after 5 years was 50 lakhs. How much should she have, she saves, how much should she save annually? If for saving earn a compound interest of 12 percent. So, this is very important problem that is Prerita wants to buy a house after 5 years. So, what is given? So, Prerita wants to buy a house after n years, 5 years, n is equal to 5 years, right. And when it is expected cost is 50 lakhs, the cost is expected to be 50 lakhs after 5 years. Expected cost means the future value f is equal to 50 lakhs and for the rate of interest r is equal to 12 percent. Therefore, i is equal to 12 divided by 100 that is 0 0.12 and amount is to be determined. Now, we can use the same formula a is equal to therefore, a is equal to f into i divided by 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1. Now, substitute here, what is F? F future value 50 lakhs into I, I is 0 0.12 divided by 1 plus 0 0.12 whole to the power of N, N is equal to 5 minus 1, right. 
So that is equal to 50 lakhs into 0 0.12 divided by this 1.12 whole raise to 5 minus 1. Simplify this, that is it. Now, suppose if you multiply 1.12 5 times, what is the answer we are going to get? So, we will get 1.7623, this is equal to 1.7623, substitute here. So, multiply the numerator, now the numerator is equal to 6 lakhs, 15 twelves are 60, that is 6 lakhs divided by, so this is 1.7623 minus 1, that is 6 lakhs divided by, 1 minus 1 is this is 0 0.737623, divide it, that is it. So, if you divide this, what is the answer we are going to get is 787091. So, if you divide, you will get 787091 is the required amount, this much amount, yes. So, 78 lakhs, 7091 rupees she has to invest. Therefore, the required amount is 78 lakh 7091, that is it, ok. Now, move on to the next problem. A company has an obligation to redeem 2 lakhs bonds 6 years, hence how much should be the company deposit every 6 months in a, in sinking, find sinking, in sinking, find account which offers that is an amount which offers 14,000 per annum interest compounded off yearly accumulated 2 lakhs in 6 years, ok. Now, a company has an obligation of redeem 2 lakhs bonds 6 years, hence how much should be the company deposit every 6 months in sinking an account of 14% per annum off yearly to accumulate 2 lakhs in 6 years. Now, what is the amount given? So, here what is required to find is amount is to be determined. The future value is given 2 lakhs that is 2 lakhs this is given and n, n is equal to what is n here? So, 6 years, 6 years that is how much should be company deposit every 6 months a sinking find account offer 14 percent annum or fairly to accumulate 2 lakhs in 6 years. So, that means this is nothing but n is equal to 2 into 6 that is equal to 12. Now, what is the rate of interest r is equal to 14 percent therefore, i is equal to 14 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.14 since it is off yearly. So, off yearly means that is nothing but accounted off yearly means 0 0.14 divided by 2 is 0 0.07 that is it right. Now, what is required to find is f, what is the formula f is equal to a into 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 divided by i. Now, what is f, f is 2 lakhs, 2 lakhs is given, a is a question mark, a is to be determined, that is a into 1, 1 plus i, what is i 0 0.07 to the power of n here it is 12 minus 1 divided by i is 0. 07. Now, simplify that is it, that is 2 lakhs is equal to a into 1 plus 0 0.07 is 1.07 whole to the power of 12 minus 1 divided by 0 0.07, right. So, if we simplify this, So, if you simplify 0 0.17 multiply 12 times minus 1 divided by 0 0.07, the answer you are going to get it as 17.888. So, therefore, A is equal to 2 lakhs divided by 17.888, that is equal to triple one eight zero point six nine. This is the required amount. So, therefore, A is equal to 3180.69 that is 11,080.69 is a required answer that is it. Now, move on to the next problem this simple and important problem find the present value of annuity of rupees 500 
at 6% per annum for 7 years. So number of years n is equal to 7 years and the rate of interest i is equal to 6% means 6 divided by 100 that is equal to 0 0.06 and what is given 500. So here amount a is equal to 500, a is equal to rupees 500. What is determined? Future value. So what is required to determine the present value? P is equal to present value is to be determined. So write down the formula for P. P is equal to A into 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1 divided by divided by I into 1 plus I to the power of N. That is it. Now substitute here. P, P is equal to what is A? A is 500 into 1 plus i, i is equal to 0 0.06 to the power of n, n is equal to 7 minus 1 divided by 0 0.06 into 1 plus 0 0.06 whole to the power of 7, simplify this, that is it. So if you simplify this in the numerator, you will get 251.815. Divided by denominator, if you simply 1 plus 0 0.06 is 1.0 plus 1.06 to the power of 7 into 0 0.06 is equal to 0 0.0902. 0 0.0902. Divide this, that is it. What is the answer you are going to get? 2791.74. 2791.74. This is the required answer, that is it. Now move on to the next problem. A man borrows 20,000, agrees to pay the borrowed amount in 10 equal installments at the rate of 6% per annum, find the amount of each installment. So the amount of each installment is to be determined, right. Now what is P here? P is equal to 20,000 and the rate of interest I is equal to 6 divided by 100 is 0 0.06 then how many installment 10 installments that means n is equal to 10 here and a is the question mark find out the amount that is it. Now what is the formula straight away we can write the formula a is equal to p into r into 1 plus i to the power of n divided by denominator you will get 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 that is it right. Now substitute the values what is p? 20,000 into 1 plus what is i? i is 0 0.06 to the power of n. What is n? n is equal to 10 divided by 1 plus 0 0.06 to the power of 10 minus 1. So this is equal to 20,000 into 1.06 to the power of 10 divided by 1.06 to the power of 10 minus 1. Simplify this. That is it. So this is equal to if, if we simplify the numerator, so we will get 2419 in the numerator divided by in the denominator. Simplify this 1.06 10 times minus 1 is equal to 0 0.7908. 0 0.7908. Divide this. That is it. So that is equal to 2717.46, 2717.46. So therefore the required answer is the amount of each installment is rupees 2717.46, that is it. This is how we are going to find the value of A, that is it. So hope you followed this. So these are few problems based on uh, the future value and the present value, that is it. So that's all regarding today's session. Let us meet with a different concept in the next class. Thank you. Thank you very much.